welcome to our first session of 2021 i take this opportunity to wish each one of us a wonderful year good health well being and happiness and we'll start with the sanskrit verse praying for everybody's happiness सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिना सर्वे सन्तु निरामय सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित दुख पाक भवेत सो टुडे सेशन विल बी ऑन स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी यूनिवर्सल टॉपिक ईच वन ऑफ अस हैज दिस काइंड ऑफ stress in our life in our day to day life we have experienced each one of us some more some less so let us analyze it little bit and then we will see how we can get rid of it first of all stress is a mental uh what you call state it is primarily felt in the human mind it comes down to the body later on but it starts with a different state of mind where there is a tension when there is some sort of uh, you know pull and push inside the human mind you can call it imbalance like you have a balance you know the tarazu you put uh, you know you you want to make a balance if you want to weigh 1 kilo you put some additional thing then it goes down and then it comes down and it keeps you know fluctuating up and down and then finally you are able to balance it so this fluctuation of balance it is something like the fluctuation of mind the mind becomes imbalanced because of so many push and pulls uh, from outside world which keep up keep affecting us uh, day in and day out now what are these pulls and pushes which uh, make us imbalanced there are variety of them let's have a brief look at them firstly we can say that our desires to have for example in a relationship between husband and wife there are ups and downs which keep causing stress in both the minds time and again then there is problem between son and father it causes problem in the minds then there is a desire to accumulate wealth you are not able to accumulate or you are running into losses it can can become a cause of uh, stress you invest in some stock market and hoping that it will multiply but ultimately the prices have come down and you are incurring losses it can become a cause of stress you are in a job you are expecting promotion you are expecting an increase in salary which does not come about and then it becomes a cause of stress you are sitting with your friends thinking that you know whatever you have done for them they will be very much thankful to you they will be grateful to you and they are not grateful to you and it becomes a cause of stress so there could be multiple regions there could be innumerable regions of stress the causes of stress can also come from nature all of a sudden for example there is a fire in the neighborhood it can become a cause of stress there is a flooding in in the, the river which is going to affect you that can become a cause of uh, you know stress so the stress can come out from the outside world from your relationships from your desire to acquire wealth from your desire to acquire power 
for example you are contesting an election uh, obviously that will become a source of big stress and if you lose an election that will cause a total collapse so there could be multiple regions for that including regions coming from natural events happening outside world now there is one common factor here that all these events which are causing stress inside you are coming from outside they are not happening inside you they are affecting you from the outside this is one very critical factor which you should realize each one of us should realize that the cause of stress is coming from outside that is one factor the second very important factor of cause of uh, cause of stress it comes from the future and the past either you are thinking of the past events that somebody misbehaved with you somebody created problem for you somebody did not give you promotion somebody did not give you salary increase somebody did not uh, allow you to make your presentation whatever may be the reason so you are thinking of the past remembering the past and you are stressed now or it comes from the future oh what will happen to my son tomorrow what will happen to my wife what will happen to my health uh, what will happen to my money which is in the stock exchange what will happen to my bank account what will happen to my position which i am acquiring today i am sitting on a particular powerful position what will happen to that so all this stress comes either from the past events or comes from the future expectations or future speculations so there are two factors that everything comes from outside the cause of stress is outside secondly the cause of stress is not in the present the cause of stress is either in the past events or in the future expectations this is uh, if you when you sit down quietly and analyze your own uh, causes of stress you would realize that these factors are universally true with each one of us at present if you are engrossed in some work it cannot be cause of stress at all now when the stress happens it can have so many repercussions it can manifest in a variety of ways it can manifest in the form of anger people become very angry it can manifest in the form of disappointment it can manifest in the form of irritation people become irritated they don't like you know to deal with Uh, anything whatever you present to him at that moment they will feel uh, frustrated and irritated it can be emotional imbalance some people react and they start crying some people you know feel lost in themselves there could be a variety of manifestation of stress stress can also and normally also affects your body it can cause several body ailments to begin with the breathing is you know starts becoming irregular when you are stressed all of a sudden your breathing you will find it is not regular it it is either very fast or very slow or imbalanced then it can cause problem in your lungs in your heart it can some people are even crippled because of the flow of energy inside the body is not evenly distributed when people are stressed then there are variety of mental ailment elements that can happen some people lose their memory some people become you know lunatic in certain ways people become eccentric so the stress can you know so variety of manifestations in our uh, individual life depending upon the state of the stress 
and the state of the individual who is actually uh, taking on the stress so this is the uh, you know basic uh, i would say background of stress how it operates how it comes into our being how it affects our body and how we are part of it day in and day out now the third factor the two factors i mentioned one is all these things come from outside secondly they come from the events that happened in the past or the expectations of the future third is that stress can impact on your body in a variety of ways and also on your emotions on your state of your mind then the fourth important factor is the stress is caused because of the gap between the expectations and the reality for example you want your son to follow your instructions and he is defying your instructions it can become a cause of your stress because your expectations are different and the behavior of the individual is different it can happen in the office situation also you want your employees to behave in a particular fashion and they do not behave that way and then the stress can accumulate uh, on you as well as on the other side it can also be the same region when you are thinking of power thinking of wealth thinking of relationships you know whatever situation it is a gap between what you are expecting and what the reality presents to you these are the two important uh, factors of stress so now how do we take care of stress this is a very very important point and today we will deal with what we call short term solutions to dealing with the stress these solutions will give you immediate relief they will provide you uh, some sort of you know uh, uh, what you call stability for the time being but this will not give you eternal or final solutions the durable solutions and the solutions which are lasting in nature we will discuss them in the next session but today we will discuss certain solutions which will be effective immediately and which are very relevant because we need to uh, take care of the problem immediately as soon as we have this stress so the first thing in this process age that we should realize that we have stress in so many cases people don't even realize that they are stressed they feel this is how i am because the anger takes over because your ego takes over and therefore you are not able to understand uh, that you are stressed you have a fight with your wife and she says no no you seem to be stressed no no i am not stressed at all you know this is the way we react it happens very often i have seen this in many uh, situations when person is completely stressed but he tells that he is not stressed at all so the first thing is to realize that you are stressed and that realization can happen only when you cool down for a while you have to cool down for a little while then you will get out of that you know stressful situation and then you will realize yes i was really stressed so the first thing you should do as soon as you get stressed is to take deep breath immediately take a deep breath and release the breath slowly slowly do it 3 4 times and you will feel your stress level has already reduced considerably so what you have to do you have to take a very deep breath fill full your you know lungs should be full of your oxygen and then take them out slowly slowly so the muscles in the body and the tension in the muscles will go away and you will feel more relaxed so the first 
important aspect whenever somebody is stressed sit down quietly in a corner take two three or four five deep breath leave the breath slowly and you will feel relaxed that is the first immediate uh, solution to the problem now second age you should change your surroundings when you are in a stressful situation the company of the people the surroundings they matter for example you are stressed in in a particular situation in your office then the best thing is to leave the office for a few minutes go outside the office or you just go to the bathroom you know relax wash your face and or you go for a short walk in a park nearby and the all the stress will disappear immediately so the second very important point is to change the surroundings which are the surroundings which are the cause of stress you should leave those surroundings for a short while and when you come back you will find that your stress level has already reduced considerably surroundings not only the physical surrounding but also the people who are around you because more often the the source of stress comes from the uh, people surrounding you or the events which uh, where the people were involved those events can cause those uh, that is stress so i think we have to uh, uh, realize the two the physical surroundings as well as the surroundings of the uh, the individuals around you then the third thing is to do some physical activity uh physical activity means you can do for example walking you can do running you can uh, do yoga uh, you can do pranayam some physical activity immediately will reduce your stress considerably uh, you can go for swimming you can go for gym whatever you want to do whatever your mood permits i think the best thing is that you should go for some sort of uh, physical movement physical movement is important because in the at the time of stress your muscles you know they they get clogged uh, they get clogged and their movement is not free so in order to defreeze those clogged muscles it is important that some physical exercise is undertaken so that is uh, another uh, the third what would i would say immediate solution for uh, de stressing oneself the fourth is you know sometimes a extremely hectic schedule is the cause of stress the hectic schedule is not only in terms of time but also in terms of results for example you are general manager of a company now you have so many engagements during the day then you have so many targets to achieve during the month or during the year the sales target or the profit target or you know recovery of uh, financial assets and things like that whatever the targets may be so firstly your physical schedule is very uh, tiring because you have every single minute of your time has been scheduled by your secretary and you you have visitors one after another or meeting one after another or you know some presentation or uh, some other event coming up so i think it is uh, extremely important to reduce the heavy schedule to a somewhat lighter schedule where you feel uh, more relaxed you will get some time to think about yourself to prepare yourself for the next event and that will relax you a bit heavy schedule can be a serious cause of stress and those people who have continuously heavy schedule uh, they will continue to have stress that is uh, i would say the fourth important uh, relief we can one can get from stress uh, is through reducing your uh, your heavy schedule then you know there are three words triple a we call it triple a that is certain situations 
which you cannot manage or you can manage now either you can avoid those situations or you can alter those situations or you can adapt to those situations there are three options avoid alter adapt now you get into a particular situation in your office which has become a regular source of stress for you uh, we have all this experience that some people can cause stress regularly to in in your office surroundings now those kind of regular situations we have to tackle in somewhat different way either we avoid that situation if we can if we cannot avoid we should try to alter that situation if we cannot alter then we should adapt to it we should accept it as given for example there is a particular individual who is working in your office who is a source of nuisance or source of stress to you and to others as well one way is that you know to ignore that person all together the other way is to post him somewhere else you can alter if you cannot post him somewhere else if you cannot avoid then the only option for you is to adapt to it to accept it okay uh, he is a nuisance very well, let's ignore him and let's move forward so this triple a theory uh, works in uh, most situations where you have a regular source of stress coming from a situation or from an individual or from a relationship it can also happen between husband and wife so there also we have to do the this approach avoid alter and adapt if you uh, you know cannot avoid that situation if you cannot alter it you have to adapt to that situation so this is uh, i would say the fifth important steps we can take to manage the stress in a short run in immediate uh, future or to relax your mind at least temporarily now next uh, point which you can use to relax your mind to relax your stress is to have conversation with a friend whom you trust this is extremely important particularly when the situation is such that you cannot discuss it with everybody it could be a relationship situation between son and father between husband and wife between brother and brother it can be a situation also in your office it can also be in the neighborhood uh, you have a problem you are all the time thinking over it you are not finding any solution then it can become a cause of regular stress for you it is important that you find a trusted person or partner with whom you can talk about this and take out your steam once you take out your steam the mind would be more relaxed and you will feel you know more confident more uh, i would say peaceful at uh, in your mind as well as your body so these are some of the uh, i would say important transient measures eh yeah? and music is another one you can uh, some people you know uh, like music very much and as soon as they put on very nice light music uh, they feel very much relaxed the situation goes away some people similar way some people wants to watch a movie or read a, a book so these are other options uh, available to us to overcome stress temporarily so let me repeat these uh, these measures uh, just to recapture them the first is deep breathing deep breathing 3 4 5 times releasing the breath slowly so you feel immediately uh, relieved from the stress then changing your surroundings uh, physical as well as and the people who are surrounding you then you take some physical activities it could be walking it could be running it could be yoga it could be gym i think uh, these will help you then a, a relax schedule a schedule which is not so taxing on your times which gives you little 
uh, you know time to prepare yourself and you feel better off then of course the uh, the triple a concept avoid alter and adapt and uh, that will help you in situations which are recurring which is a source of uh, uh, tension and stress time and again uh, which you are you know not able to handle properly then uh, you know you have to what you call uh, have conversation with some friends some people whom you trust with whom you can discuss your uh, you know inti intimate problems your problems uh, which are bothering you all the time and then you feel uh, relieved you feel relaxed and you feel better that you have taken out this team then the uh, other option is as i mentioned that is the music books uh, film you know theater uh, a sort of entertainment which takes your mind away from the situation and you feel more relaxed now there's one very important thing which is connected with the stress here is that we keep going back and back in the past and in the future there's a word in uh, uh, in hindi called jugali jugali means you know the the animals normally eat their food at a time when for example a cow is eating grass now she keeps eating the grass it is stored in one part of uh, the stomach of the cow and whole day it will come back and it will keep chewing it again and again because the first time when it is eating it is not chewing it properly it is just stored somewhere and then it does the jugali whole day jugali means it is chewing it properly and digesting it so what we do we do jugali of thoughts the thoughts keep coming in our mind observe yourself when you are sitting in uh, in your drawing room or when you are taking your shower and when you are meeting your you know friends and sometimes uh, when you are eating your food the thoughts keep coming again and again the same thought will keep coming again and again to your mind and keep causing stress to you for example somebody hurt your sentiments in the office now after you have left office you are not able to get rid of it you come home you feel stressed you sit down on your food the same thought comes when you go to the bed to sleep again the same thought comes and you are not able to sleep when you get up and uh, go to the toilet and sit down in the bathroom there also the same thought keep coming so this is called jugali this jugali happens because a thought has hurt you deeply and you are not able to get out of it now this is very important to get out of that jugali because this jugali is a perpetual source of stress for each one of us and how to get out of jugali that we will discuss in the next session but this is an important cause we should understand why we get uh, stress so often and time and again so stress is not coming from inside you first of all it is coming from the factors which are outside whether they are outside individuals whether it is a situation outside whether it is uh, the result of your expectations or whether it is you know uh, natural event happening outside all the stress which impacts you is coming from outside and this is mind's response to those events which is the cause of your stress so this is extremely important factor we have to understand this factor because this will be the premise of our next talk why the external factors are impacting us why uh, we are not able to manage that properly then going into past and going into the future these are another important factors these are also the factors of our jugali and we keep uh, uh, you know what you call meditating over the same thing again and again it's not a meditation but in a in a way you are thinking about the same thing again and again and becoming a source of your stress continuously and then <coughs> of course the 
gap between your expectations and the reality or the achievement we on the ground they can uh, cause devastation those are the uh, factors which make you stressed all the time and we already discussed seven eight uh, important things which we can do uh, immediately to get relief uh, in a in a short term in in a time bound manner but if you want to get rid of stress for good permanently uh, i think there are better methods to do it to uh, address the root cause of the problem once we address the root cause then all these you know leaves and flowers and uh, they will not come up uh, they will not manifest in different ways all this manifestation of your frustration and irritation and emotional imbalance and loss of memory and you know all this will disappear all these are uh, manifestations of that root in in different ways these are the leaves or uh, fruits or you know uh, you can call them uh, flowers or you know branches whatever all these will disappear once the seed itself disappears so that we will uh, look at in our next session so today uh, we would uh, conclude here basically that the uh, cause of stress is from coming from outside it is mind's reaction to the events happening outside the stress is a state of mind uh, which is causing you uh, disturbing your peace which is causing imbalance in your thinking process in your mental state and which is uh, you know like uh, you have seen in in circus a person is trying to balance on a rope now he turns right and left right and left so we are pulled and pushed in this world by external events and people and that pull and push by external events is uh, by imbalancing our mind constantly so all these factors uh, come into play and they disturb our peace we can call it peace of mind we can call it Uh, distressing you know uh, in hindi or in sanskrit we call man ki shanti now man ki shanti is the word which is actually uh, talks about a balanced mind a mind which is not perturbed a mind which is not impacted a mind which is not pushed and pulled by outside events and outside happenings that is man ki shanti so we will discuss that in our next session in great detail uh, because that is extremely important for each one of us and if we can actually get rid of stress i think it will uh, help us tremendously in our personal well being in our health and in our surroundings as well because uh, uh, the reality of life is that you can give what you have if you have money in your purse and a beggar comes you can give him the money if you don't have money you can't give him similarly if you have happiness in your own self wherever you go you will carry that happiness and it will come out like a fragrance and everybody will feel happy you can feel you know some people when they enter they bring that fragrance and everybody becomes happy then another person comes with tension and he brings tension all over the third person comes in a very serious mood and wherever he goes people become extremely serious so you carry what you have and you give what you have so if you want to give happiness then you have to remove your own stress your own tension if you are peaceful you will give peace to others so you are doing this uh, uh, you know what you call favor to yourself but also to others you know because of Uh, uh, distressing your own self you are distressing others as well they also feel relaxed because you are distressed and uh, this is a reality this is how the world works this is how the society operates this is how our situations uh, uh, are created and decreated so let us try and be distressed and uh, these temporary measures are important because that is the first step we have to move uh, in the first step first 
and then we move to you know more fundamental uh, issues we address to more fundamental issues to remove the seed itself so that our distress so that our stress is completely uh, you know gone it completely disappears our mind becomes balanced and our mind becomes quiet so thank you very much uh, i thought uh, this is a good topic uh, to start with in the new year so once again i take this opportunity uh, to wish all of us a very distressed mind a very peaceful new year a very uh, balanced and happy uh, time in the coming year thank you very much if you have any questions on this part please let me know and uh, the second part will be more fundamental where we will deal with the uh, more spiritual issues connected with these stressing thank you